probably the most precious gift that I had and I had received from my parents was actually a small microscope that I have actually kept and cherished, you know, yeah, like a piece of gem. As a child, I was always uh, intrigued, uh, you know, by the beauty of the human body, how it works, and also I was fascinated, you know, by how vaccines, for example, can actually protect us against diseases and uh, how the body can actually overcome the infections of the childhood. Uh, I had the privilege of having a lot of good mentors who actually helped me a lot, uh, you know, to understand, you know, the beauty of the immune system and the importance of the immune responses. However, it was not until I started doing my, uh, you know, my doctoral thesis in a rheumatology clinic that I really and truly appreciated the, the significance of immune responses in health and disease. So my research program is quite broad. Really what keeps all the projects together, so to speak, is really uh, the role of T-lymphocytes uh, in health and disease. So T-lymphocytes are actually called T-lymphocytes because they are educated in the thymus. So basically they are really important cells of the immune system and they participate and orchestrate immune responses in health and disease. One beauty of T cells is that they are highly specific and we have them as pre-existing entities in our body. Uh, for example, you know, if we talk about cancer, we know that there are T cells in the body that have a specificity against, uh, you know, against tumor cells. However, you know, when the body is actually overwhelmed you know, by cancer, they are unable uh, you know, to actually eradicate cancer. So we know that we have them, we have all the weapons in the body that are designed to help us, but we are looking for ways to actually boost this weapon to go after them actually specifically, you know, to go after the cancer, for example. Our hope is that we'll discover and invent some novel therapeutic approaches that would uh, involve T cells, uh, that would actually lead to the development of targeted therapies. My hope for future is that immunotherapies, you know, would be one day consider routine treatments. So basically, uh, instead of relying, you know, on you know, a lot of toxic forms of treatments, we would uh, consider, you know, T-cell based treatments or immunotherapies uh, as the first line option.